Alrighty, let's begin. So quiet, leave shutter cameras. Can you even, you barely hear that. Hello everyone and welcome to BH2 Studios. Today we'll be talking about what I have been up to for the past couple months. It's been a crazy year since June. Um, in my other videos, I talked about it. I was in Italy for three weeks and then before that I was in Germany for one week. So I was gone for a month teaching with BCIT, the British Columbia Institute of Technology. So it is a proper polytechnic university teaching. Uh, well, I was part of the business media faculty. So I was teaching global visual storytelling. And so I was gone for a month, came back, and then back for about a month and a half. And then Fujifilm X Summit in Fujikina in Stockholm, Sweden, just happened to be right next to Leica's uh, 50th anniversary celebration of their factory in Porto, Portugal. Like Fujikina ended on a Wednesday, and then the Porto celebration started on a Thursday. It was Thursday, Friday. So back to back, and so, uh, before I went, I think Camera Girl, like I didn't know the exact date, but Camera Girl said, you're going to only one or the other. You can't pick both. And so I was like, oh, I have to pick between Leica and Fujifilm. And they just happened to be right next to each other. So I got to do both. And I was completely honest, because, you know, think about it. I had an extra ticket to Europe, but uh, I had uh, Fujifilm fly me out, and then I had Leica fly me back. And so th I think that's just fair. And on the leg to Stockholm, Sweden, I had Julian Falk of Fourth Dimension Pictures. So thank you, Julian. He came with me. We shot tons of video and we just shot a little bit of a trailer, but we shot tons of video, both myself and Julian. And he, but he took off to Japan for like three weeks right after, sort of right after that. And so we haven't had a chance to work on it. We're working on it. I shot a couple of videos in Porto as well. So stay tuned. I uh, interviewed Andrea Pacella as well as Stefan Daniels. Uh, I enjoy talking to Stefan all the time. And so I have interviews with them, but I had a good time. Uh, Leica lent me the Q3 to take with me. And I have my thoughts on this as well. I got to shoot a separate video on the Q3. And so when I was in uh, both Germany as well as in Porto, obviously I switched over to the Q3. And then when I was in Stockholm, obviously I had the uh, GFX 100, but as well I had the XS20 for vlogging. Hey Billy, how's it going? This is, I'm in vlogging mode, but it's overexposed. What's happening, Billy? Did I, did I, do, did I do something wrong no. here? I don't know. <laughs> Why is this overexposed? This is in vlogging mode. Shouldn't it be, isn't that dumb mode or no? No, it's no, the it's mode. But actually my main camera was in fact the X-Pro3 with the uh, 3514. And when I was in Stockholm, I, I didn't realize how many people I knew I was in Stockholm, but I didn't realize that Thomas of Squarehood lives in Stockholm. And so we met up. Couple of times we had breakfast one day, we went for a walk another day, was it the same day? And then also met up with him at Fujikina. And so thank you Thomas for hanging out. Right, so we are here at Fujikina and this is our first victim. Uh, guest is Thomas of Squarehead. Thank you for talking with us. Thank, thank you for having me. That's the beautiful Fujifilm camera. It's just a Rico. I have an interview with him as well. Look forward to doing more projects. I'll, I'll put links down below. You guys probably already know who Thomas from Square Hood is, but he's thinking about getting into M mount lenses. So it's not just for Fujifilm and Rico shooters, but as well as M mount. So he makes really cool hoods as well as this thumb rest here. But uh, I met up with him as well. Get this here. Wesson knives, they make these little pocket knives here, really tiny, basically keychain knives, but look how cute this is, look how small this little thing is. So it's just a kind of a keychain knife. And so I visited their office, I got to see the shack knife, which is insane, and got to hang out with them for a little bit, but we have some projects to work on, and so just sort of stay tuned uh, for, for, for those projects. All right, Ethan, how's it going? Dude, living the dream, living the dream. <laughs> Uh, explain to us what is, I mean, right over your right shoulder says, have a knife day. It does indeed. I, I think that gives away Every what you do. Every day is knife day, man. So, so what is Wesson? Dude, what is Wesson? We know we started as a brand, now we're becoming like more of a community and global movement, I like to say. Um, we want to show the world that knives aren't as scary as you might think they are, you know? We love pocket knives, we love community building, so we're making a, we're making a community just around pocket knives. And as well, um, Momentum watches, let me take one of the C-Quartz 30 with me. This is the Magnum PI watch that Tom Selleck wore in the first three seasons of Magnum PI. And this is like the, it came out in the 70s. 
And so this is kind of like a homage 40th, 50th anniversary watch here. As well, G-Shock gave me their 40th anniversary P, uh, 5040 PG. The first G-Shock came out in um, 1983. And so this is a 40th anniversary. And I was, I thought it was kind of cool to have these kind of homage anniversary watches because I was going to Leica's 50th anniversary in Porto, Portugal. And so it was really cool to go there. I met up with Gadgen. Uh, those of you guys know who Gadgen is, an awesome photographer as well. He uh, is a YouTuber as well and a fellow Canadian. And so, is this enough cameras, Take? Is this enough? Gadgen, what kind of, was this your new GoPro? Uh, yeah. The Hero, Hero uh, okay. 80? Yeah, this is the Hero 70. Hero 70S? Uh, yeah. Hey Gadgen, how's it going? And as well, always seeing Kiran is awesome. Thank you, Kiran, for inviting myself and Juan from Beers and Cameras. But what happened was there was a, a, a plane thing in New York and Hugh Brownstone and his wife and Juan and a whole bunch of people, uh, Stock Easy, Jason Roman, they couldn't make Porto Portugal. And so it was very sad that they weren't there. It just didn't have the same feel, but it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. I want to go back definitely with my wife. There's a crazy bookstore with like, it looks like I was in a pirate ship or something like that, but that bookstore was cool. Uh, the food was amazing. Uh, got to hang out, it was a much smaller group, like maybe 200 people. So really got to hang out with uh, Andrea Pacella and talk to Stefan. Everyone seemed really chill in Portugal. Is that what happens when people go to Porto? They just become relaxed, but everyone seemed relaxed there. But that was quick. I went to Germany. I actually ran into uh, Ben Dahmer of Leica in Germany. He happened to be shooting a wedding that day, and I got to just have a breakfast with him that day. Ben? Yeah. Do you like it when I put a camera in your face? I love it. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. And what camera do you have with you today? Uh, I have the Leica M10R. Yeah. And I have the 35mm Summicron V4. It's my. It's in very good shape. Yeah, it is. And it's my daily carry. Yeah. Uh, shoot with it every day. And I, of course, have the the nice shutter release. Re retro photo reading shutter release. Of yeah, and you got, you got more too. What are you hoarding them? What's, what's happening? <laughs> no, I'm uh, actually a Take gifted to me. As well as I got to see Otto from Adidas uh, when I was on that trip while I was in Germany. And then took off to Stockholm and just met tons of people, just even walking on the street. I interviewed, I had three interviews while walking on the streets of Stockholm. Mika, how's it going? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, can you pronounce your whole name properly for me? Yeah, my name is Mika Lumos. Hello, my name is Hans, and this is my Alpha 9D. I'm Johan from Sweden. I'm a musician and photographer who loves taking pictures and writing songs. And then as well, at the X Summit, met tons of great photographers, Knut, I, I sh shot a separate video with just Knut. Hello, my name is Knut Koivisto. I'm a Fujifilm ex-photographer and I belong to Fujifilm Nordic. And can you talk about the camera that you have in your hand? This is the new camera that they uh, launched today. And it's actually the new lens also. This is the 55 1.7. Hello, Knut, and hello everybody else that I met. I'm sure I'm forgetting tons of people, but it was a really great kind of a, Fujifilm pulls off these events really well. And, and so is Leica. Leica pulls off these events really well. And then I came back for a couple of weeks, got sick, recovered, took off to Germany to the COP, the Celebration of Photography, and LOBA, which is the Leica Oscar Barnack Awards, uh, for the third year in a row, which is uh, what a privilege to go three years in a row. All right. I am back. And then at that time, finally Juan from Beers and Cameras was able to come and we kind of did something different this year. We decided, and welcome to Lights Cafe. I'm here with Juan Martinez at Beers and Cameras, and we are at uh, the COP 2023. Celebration of Photography. Celebration of Photography event, and we decided this year, so every year we get asked who we would like to, to interview, and this year, what did, what did you say? What did I say? I just thought, hey, what if we just have like a table or a little room where we can just interview whoever we want? Right? It sounded kind of fun. Be more ad hoc about it. And we don't know who we're going to meet, so a little more flexible. And we got this beautiful table at the Lights Cafe. 
Exactly, and this is kind of the table we hang out at every year anyway. So yeah. it's it's funny how we ended up getting our table. It's like yeah. Seinfeld and their booth. This is yeah. this is our booth. You're right. I can imagine you know all the usual suspects sitting in these different chairs that we wanted to set up at the cafe and then just interview people. So much for watching. Thanks, Pat, for joining me. We'll talk to you soon and happy shooting. Click, 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 click. <laughs> and kind of ask, I have my talking cameras series. You know, what's your favorite camera, your favorite lens, things like that. My favorite Leica lens is the 35 millimeter Semilux. Why do you like that one? Um, it makes me go close to people but still keep a kind of distance and yeah I think it's probably like one of the most famous lenses but it gives you a lot of opportunities. And so I shot that video and then again saw old friends like uh, Pat Domingo, I saw him in Porto, saw him again at, uh, at Wetzler and dropped off my M7. I dropped it by accident when I was in Italy and I sent it in and gave it to the service department. Thank you so much for fixing it, service department. Mr. Kaufman, you did a good job. All right, here's my M7. I am dropping it off at HQ here, customer service. I do not trust this with, just with anyone, but I do trust it with Nicholas. Thank you, Nicholas. <laughs> You're welcome. You always do a fantastic job. Thank, <laughs> thank you so you, much. Thank you, we will take care of it. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> No charge, they even replaced the battery cover on the M7, made sure that the rangefinder patch was in focus. I should have handed my M4 as well, but I had Camera West to just look it over as well, so it should be fine. Always have a good time there, but then when I was at Wetzler, I started not feeling that well. Luckily, Kidan upgraded me to stay at the Vienna House, Ernst Lights, that's in the, the Leica campus, and so again, thank you Kidan for doing that for me. It made a huge difference to be up at HQ near the mothership, and so I had a great time over there, as well as meeting new people, like Rough Draft, Brandon. My name is Brandon Ruffin. I am a photographer out of Oakland, California, and I uh, produce work under the moniker Rough Draft. That was awesome. He came down with me and Juan to Munich to hang out with my cousin, and we went to see the folks, fine folks over at Photo Presto. You will have it up. Okay. Oh. Your dad will have it down. And then we'll switch. And then, when, and then you switch. And so Sinan and Eileen, thank you so much for your fantastic hospitality. Also got to meet Todd Heido, which uh, it was amazing. And we were just talking about different things. And then uh, he, she said, my name is Todd. And I said, uh, my name is Take. And I said, Todd, and he said, Heido. I'm like, the Todd Heido. So that was great meeting Todd. Welcome to Lights Cafe. I'm here with Todd Heido. Although I've always thought your name was Todd Hido and that you were... Yeah, many people do think it's right, but it's Haido, yes. Yeah. I thought you were a little Japanese man like me running around the world taking pictures of people's homes in the middle of the night, but no. A lot of people have thought that too, yes. But, but, including your wife. Yeah, including my wife before she met me. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Todd, it is an honor and privilege to meet you here at Lights Park. How are you enjoying your time here right now? I, I, I'm having a great time. It's wonderful to meet all these people and uh, just be immersed in photography for three or four days. Like, totally, it's, it's wonderful. But uh, someone had said some of my night photography reminded them of Todd Heido, and so that's a compliment. And so to be able to meet Todd, and then he's a huge fan of Greg Girard. So I got to flex a little and say, hey, Greg is my friend. And so I got him to do a little message, say hi to Greg. And so hopefully I can get Greg and Todd to meet one day. Maybe they'll do a project together. As well as I met up with, with Marwan of Silver Greens. Last year, Silver Greens did the, uh, the shoot with the sports car, and that was great. And I got to talk to uh, to the team there and talk about my uh, Hong Kong Neon project. But uh, their previous issue for the summer was with Jeff Bridges on the cover. And then the fall issue, I think it's a quarterly magazine. Look at that, Hong Kong Neon right there. Big Head, does it say Big Head Taco there? Summer, Take Kyle, Big Head Taco. So uh, pick up a copy of uh, their latest issue, support analog, support uh, print. Maybe I'll just show you very quickly. I don't even know where my pictures here are. So here's here's a quick view here, but go and buy the magazine. It's like 20 euros. So it's not expensive. It's like a nice photo book. And so it's great to buy things that are in print. Thank you so much, Marwan, for coming to Wetzler. Uh, he, him and I just like had like a tea together and I also included him in my YouTube video interview. Silver Grain Classics, uh, an analog only magazine, am I correct? 
Yes, only analog and only in print. We don't have a download PDF or something like that. Why, why do you do that? Because we want to get the sense of the feeling of an actual physical image. Um, it's different than a than something on an LCD screen. And so I'm sure I, I'm missing a lot of stuff. No. Okay. Well, okay. Well. Okay. Zach, uh... you, you're wearing a black. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I'm Asian. I don't know what that means. Ready? And drop the mic. You have the boarding. Say that. <laughs> He did it faster than I said go. <laughs> we interviewed you last year, but we lost the audio. Um, my microphone was working, and mm -hmm. you and I have very strong voices, so it did pick up, okay. but I wanted a clear audio. And X-Pro3, XT series, those are cameras that, that remind us of what it was like to learn photography. I remember picking up my first manual camera when I was 16. Oh. And so the first thing I'm going to ask you, sure. and, and I'm going to see if it lines up with last year, is the same questions, your favorite Fujifilm camera, the current available one. Uh, Which is hard to say because you guys sold out of everything. So let's just say current generation. So if I was thinking about um, my favorite camera right now, I would probably still probably say. But it's been a busy, busy year since June. And so now I'm back. Uh, I had stuff waiting for me like the GFX 100 and the 5517, which I just shot a video because I'm wearing the same shirt here. This is Ironheart. And as well, thank you so much. I got to shoot a video about the Leica Q3 and the Q2 because I'm going to kind of put them both together in the same category, but had a great time shooting with this. Got to ship this back to Leica. And of course, this is my X Pro 3 and uh, the 3514. So thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you soon. Happy shooting. Maybe just do this, even though I don't really shoot this way. And happy shooting. Peace.